if everyone. Uh, I would like to say thank you to Native Spiritual Field Festival and the American House, our sponsor, BFI Cinema for All. This event is very important for us because we're talking about our ancestors, we're talking about our culture. This film is about, about us, it's about our people, our tradition, our culture. That's why we are here, trying to speak to you about this film, Sembradoras de la Vida, Mother of the Land. You know, I want to pass to my friends, I want to introduce Octavia, Constantina, Yolanda, they are very strong ladies and they come in from the Andean background and they know what they're talking about. This field is about Peruvian ladies in the Andes who are working very hard to earn their life and they try to sell organic food on the market, which is very hard in these times. This film is about our, our, our ancestors. For that reason, it's very important to talk about them. I would like to ask one question to uh, Constantina, which is going to talk about the Peruvian ladies. Do you think that what is the, the role of the women in this film? How do you feel about how our women working hard in the Andean region in Peru. Uh, thanks, uh, Don Jose. Yeah, um, well, women in this film we see, they really work uh, very hard. Um, uh, uh, the women always work with the man, but uh, um, the man will do the strongest uh, job in the in the chakra. But the woman uh, will do uh, the seeding, uh, 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 seeding on the on the, on the land, um, and the woman will take in household. Um, preparing the food uh, for the children and looking after the uh, animals. Um, if they have the cow or milking the cow, making the cheese. Um, also, um, they work for um, in the sewing and cultivate potatoes, quinoa, the women be active. Um, and they follow, uh, they remember uh, ancestors, uh, they been, the ladies been taught how to look after the land. They will follow uh, looking after the land uh, how to uh, cultivate the, um, the seeds and how to harvest um, and all the customs like using the coca in every uh, work they're going to do. Uh, first, they, they pry or they offer to the apples um, to be the, to give the best harvest. Um, what else I can say? Um, and the, the gra grandparents pass the children, all the customs, uh, how to preserve the seeds, and um, and how to use organically the, 
uh, the food because nowadays um, the land is uh, they use the uh, pesticides but those women in the film they're trying to look after the land because the land uh, the earth is like women uh, produce the fruit like women has a children they look after them as well um yeah it's very uh, seem very important this film for us to give us uh, the vision how they work really hard to to preserve all organic and and we should follow it's inspiring for us to carry on this um, custom. I think that's what they can say. Many sons, Panachai Constantina, uh, Panachai Octavia. Do you think that the climate change is affecting the agriculture on the Andean region at this time? Oh, thank you, uh, Don Jose. Uh, well, yeah, I saw the film, all the film. Sorry, my English is not good, but I'll try my best. Hopefully you'll understand me. Fine. Well, as we see, you know, all the film or the, um, uh, what we call, you see they're talking in, in all the place upon the change of film. Sorry, change of the, uh, the global planet, how it's uh, changing. Um, one of them, which I really, uh, I, I realized was, you know, because, you know, in the countryside, uh, there's the, you have a time is when is the time of sembrar, how to say sembrar in English? I think it's uh, yeah. sowing, sowing. Yeah, and then, you know, when you harvest also they change. Or, so the people that they don't really know as the, the, the lady, which is her name is um, uh, Justina Quispe. She's from Puno. She said, uh, these days we don't know exactly when it will rain, when it will be the, um, what's the name of, um, frost will be coming. So, uh, uh, you know, that has changed so much. So it affects all the crops which they, we grow or which they grow. And then um, uh, also she mentioned as one of that, um, uh, her grandma used to see on the moon, you know, and uh, exactly to see if this year will be good uh, harvest or not. But also she can't do that anymore that because as we see, she says, uh, uh, because of the climate change, that is affect. So sometimes it's so much rain or sometimes it's, you know, there's nothing rain. And they also, it's just not affecting the harvest. I mean, the, the arts and also have uh, affect to the animals because they don't have a water you know, or any plants will dry. That's what I see the bonding. Oh, also the Brisaida say, she says, you know, because she's from the little bit of valley, she lives and they grow um, uh, sweet corns and uh, potatoes. Because of the climate change, also they're not doing any more potatoes there because the potatoes grow more a little bit in the high Andes. Because it's too hot, it won't, it won't be good for them. Quickly the worms, I mean the worm or any insect will attack, which is really bad. So this, she said, we're not really doing any more. Instead of that, we're doing, you know, like a trigo. Um, what was the name of the one? Like beans. Uh, I don't know what they call the white beans. Um, we call tauri, tauri, but in English, I don't have, I don't have no idea what's the name. But I'm sure you will understand what I'm talking. Uh, that. So you know, how is it disappearing? All this small. Uh, Potato and this potatoes that disappear is going more higher, higher. And then one upon the uh, the chemicals we're using, uh, the uh, Elena Garcia, which is she's uh, from the um, uh, 
she's an anthropologist. She, you know, she explains so well. She says, you know, good um, uh, people who work in the countryside were called farmer. They know exactly, you know, when it touch the earth or when it just hold it, they smell. And if the earth smells as a uh, Humus, but I, I don't know how to say, it. maybe it's good, sweet, I, you can say in English, but uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so that means it's, the earth is really good. It's really good prepare. It's really, it will be so good for, for the plants. So you can make your potatoes or your sweet corn. But uh, this day, you know, the people, they don't do anymore because they put so much of these chemicals. The earth is, you know, uh, it's not uh, good at all. It's getting está perdiendo su sorry está perdiendo su um, sus uh, uh, este sus uh, se está debilitando. Ya no tiene esa fuerza para que crezca más las uh, las plantas. Yeah, I know the the land yeah. is become a lot of without vitamin the land is yeah. Infertile, mm -hmm. not possible to grow more plants because it's weaker and weaker all the time. Uh, I remember yeah. when you said that in that time yeah. it was a lot of frogs, you know, uh, you know, in, in the land. But now, when you put a lot of pesticides, all yeah. the frogs are disappear. So nobody yeah, exactly. Yes, but the, you know, as um, uh, the the lady Brisaida, she says. People, they don't think anymore about, you know, they don't think about you know, what's going to happen in the future. And we said, then we're talking about the three, 10 or 20 years. They don't think, they just think about today. And, uh, you know, they just thinking about their money to do business because they don't really care what's going to happen. So they try to uh, grow with any kind of uh, medicines they have, which is really bad. But, uh, you know, she said, if you grow with your one, no, which is, uh, I think it's menu in English, with that one, it uh, will grow. And it's good for the plant, obviously, or for the earth also. But it will take more longer than, than in using the uh, chemicals. OK? And then also, how we preserve that, which is very important, I saw then, but it's, how we preserve the seeds. Uh, you know, as uh, you see, there's a, you know, all of them are from Puno, from Chinchero, or, or from, uh, uh, what was the name? The lady from the uh, valley. She also, she said, that all three of them, they speak the same. She said, we need to uh, uh, take it careful and choose the seed, which is the, perfect one, which is, you know, doesn't have any, and, and looked after that. And then, as we said, by the nearly end of the film, they're going to uh, that place, which is Watuchi, I think. Isn't it? Watuku? Watuku, yeah. And then in that place, she says that, uh, uh, Elena, she said, in many years, you know, the Incas used to take their, their seeds to reserve and to uh, and save if in case we have, it comes like a uh, starvation or a, any kind of uh, incident or anything of the weather or thing comes, you know, we have a preserve there. And they also, that they, they take also the seeds and the other people from different community brings the seeds and they exchange. So that seed will do good in your land and also in their land which is somehow to exchange and then uh, extend the seeds, isn't it? I'm explaining well myself or not, sorry. I'm saying my best. Okay. And then the last one about the food, I'm sorry, about the food, uh, which I really like, it was the, uh, Sonia says, uh, which is from, she is from Buna and she says, you know, we grow here, everything is organic, everything is here. And she says, because I eat organic food, I'm strong. I'm trying to teach my kids and, you know, the food you eat and we just, she's talking about the, the city Cusco. If you go to the Cusco, there's junk food which you eat and you need, uh, you know, it makes you sick. And some, most people has a cancer, she said. 
But what she explained to her kids said, I eat this food, I am stronger, and I work in the, you know, in the farm, as you see, and you know, I'm not getting sick, so I'm I'm healthy. So and the kids said, Oh yeah, mom, that's right. It's good to eat the the vegetables we grow. Which she said normally we do only with uh one, no? right? It's so fine. I think it's we, you know, I really like it, and it reminds me so much of this film about my, you know, how we grow last uh, all of my friends. Thank you. Tupalki Panachay Octavia, very nice talk. Uh, next is nuestra is nuestra, uh, Panachay Yolanda. Uh, Panachay Yolanda, do you think that the Quechua language is very important in the film? But what do you think about this? Ah, good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Of course, the film is just beautiful. I enjoy watching. And um, Quechua, Quechua is our, our culture. And they, uh, I, I am from, from the Andes. So in my original, or my mother language is Quechua. So I speak my Quechua. So I, when I come to this country, I thought I was going to forget my Quechua. Or when I go back, I'm never going to speak. But I am so glad, privileged, that here in this country, we're teaching Quechua and then we are giving up to young people their learning and they am so happy. So my our Quechua, it will be go on in the future. So it's not going to disappear or we're not going to forget. So the program is about our reality of Peru, our culture, our past, our Incas. They used to do those things. And the, the best thing is, and I do remember when I was a child, uh, before anything, before we starting to cultivate or to do in the land, they always say thank you to the Mother Earth, always, and to the sun, to the moon, to the star. And there is, there, there is a lake, there is a group went to the lake, they to say thank you, and it's always like that. You have to be thank you for it because the Earth is our mom. And uh, the sun is our father, and uh, that's me. I used to grow up believing in the sun and the moon and the earth. So it was really nice to see how it's still going on, our culture very strong. And uh, they, they gave it to this lake. They take some offering uh, to say thank you for next time or for an ask to, to the earth and the water and the, the sun and the sun saying, please, Bring, bring the sun or the rain for our season, for our food. So they're not going, they're not forgetting the, our sun or our mother earth. So they, we still saying thank you, which is, we should be saying thank you because we, because of the earth we hear. And the, another thing is in Quechua as well, they say, uh, after they cultivating in the land and the, when they crop is going, growing, you see happy. And then when they start halmando, halmar is when they start, um, uh, halmar is, uh, I don't know, uh, aporcar in Espanol. In English is when you put it together, the air so it doesn't go weak, I think. So um, the men do that. And the, the women, they dancing around the, the lands, around to see how happy they are because they, wherever they, they plant is growing nicely. And they, so to say thank you to the earth, they dance and they're happy. I think that is um, like Mr. Jose say, we celebrate the carnival, the reason, because he say that is we celebrate carnival and he is 100% the true. That's we celebrate, that's we happy because by, doing these things we saying thank you and they planting all the cultures they doing all with love that is the most beautiful thing we doing with love and sometimes people they don't appreciate it in when you take your product to the market they don't appreciate it they rather buy the big potatoes or they like or not or non-organic potatoes because i guess some people they don't have enough money and the other one the organic is always a little bit expensive than than uh, the other food so 
that is another thing, but we should appreciate our food. And they, and they, and they talk about as well about um, we, there is a strongest before we start any, any job, anything, they chuck, they chuck chung coca, they chewy coca, that it make you give you energy. And then another thing is because they have a really early big breakfast, proper breakfast is not like it. To like uh, here, fishing or chips and potato or chips, like big breakfast. It's not like that. over there is proper breakfast, potato, cheese, if there is, and some broad beans that is strong. So last all day until in the evening sometime. So we eat coca. We not eat, we chewy coca. So they give it strong and they don't, you don't feel hungry and we, we don't eat, we just chew it and we stay it in you on the side of you. So her mouth, and they, that's it. That is very important. Coca quinto, we say. The best coca, you do that. And you still say thank you with the coca as well, the earth. And they talk about quinoa, which is quinoa is very important in our um, food in back home. Quinoa, potatoes, and all the um uh, broad beans and the a uh, kiwi cha and those things is very important and like uh, octavia say we say we go to watanaki that's where people they gather for i think once a year gathering to show off the best uh seat in the place and they exchange with another person with another town so they can go back and grow same food same same kind of food or fruit or product so to see if they grow or not so they're not they're not um, just uh, uh, doing themselves or growing the best by themselves they're sharing as well they take into different towns and they're sharing so that is the most beautiful things I see sharing not just keeping themselves and they're the best one they always keep for next uh, next uh, the year for plantation. So another thing they say it's very important eating after they they see is the product is nice is uh, they allando papa están allando they are taking out the potatoes allar is so in that moment the harvesting that moment is they don't take I think in my in in there they. They take out and the minute they take out, they do the little like uh, pachamanca, we say in back home, but it's not. Uh, is they do it uh, um, lovely with earth and they, they burn it with, the, with potato leaves, everything. They warm up practically the earth. So they put a potato and they cover with the earth. And you can see how beautiful that potato is just a pure organic. And that is the best organic I ever tried. I tried once because I think my mother took me to the up Highlands and I try. And if you try, that is yummy with, of course, with a little bit of hisito or I used to eat with kiso, which is say. Anyway, so that is so. And if you see this program, you will love it. It's with heart, it's everything we got there. Culture, heart, people work hard and they, we, our culture we telling to everyone and they yeah I don't think I am so happy this program which is they showing our culture thank you Supalki uh, Yolanda many thanks to you uh, we have to finish uh, remind the people who are we we are a Rimanawi community who teach in Kichwa in United Kingdom uh, we have to say thank you to the Nighting Spirit of Feel Festival and the American House, uh, our sponsor, British Film Institution, Cinema for All, for this opportunity to speak about Sembradoras de Vida, a matter of the, of the land, which is a feel very important for us. So you, Octavia, Yolanda, Constantina, given the best word to support this women in the Peruvian and the region. Thank you for your participation. Um, we expecting in November, six 
next on November, we're doing a panel uh, in, in public. So we need to inviting people to remind to come to Latin America House. Uh, we expect it, you know, supporting us in, in this event. Thank you to Tweet, uh, many sound for this panel. Uh, we keep in touch. Thank you. Thank you. Tupanajikama. 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 Tupanajikama.